Good evening, everyone. The state of Maine is in a state of shock and fear tonight. Streets are virtually empty as residents shelter in place 24 hours after authorities say a U.S. Army reservist walked into a bowling alley and then in a bar just over my shoulder and shot and killed 18 people, wounding 13 more. Tonight, a massive search is underway for 40-year-old Robert Card. Police say he is armed and dangerous and should not be approached. And authorities say Card spent two weeks in a mental health facility this past summer after acting erratically. Tonight, miles of businesses and homes in and around Lewiston, Maine's second largest city, are on lockdown, including a nearby college and grade schools as hundreds of law enforcement officers search for the suspect. It is this year's deadliest mass shooting, and it has jolted the country once again. Tonight, a mass killer is on the loose, and a large swath of Maine is on lockdown. Hundreds of law enforcement officers urgently searching for the armed and dangerous man they say carried out a shooting rampage at a bowling alley and a bar in Lewiston, killing at least 18 and injuring at least 13. There is a full court press by all of our partners uh, to bring him into custody. Businesses and schools up to 50 miles away are closed. Police advise that Maine people should not approach him under any circumstances. Officials say the suspect is 40-year-old Robert Card from Bowdoin, a longtime member of the Army Reserve. A family member says he struggled recently with mental health issues. Law enforcement sources tell NBC News a note was found at Card's home. They are working to determine its meaning. Police say they also located a white Subaru registered to card at a nearby boat landing. Like, I want to know who, where, when, why. Like, why would he do this? Like, why in Lewiston, Maine? Today, body bags were removed from just-in-time recreation, where the rampage began. Active shooter incident, all available units to Lewiston. Officials say the first 911 call came in at 6.56 p.m. Wednesday night, reporting a shooter at the bowling alley, which was hosting a youth night. It was probably 15 feet behind me. I mean, he was close. Very close. People inside hid under tables and behind bowling pins. I just booked it um, down the lane and I slid basically into where the pins are and climbed up in the machine and was on top of the machines for about 10 minutes until the cops got there. Police say seven were killed there. Two active shooter locations. Looks like it will be at just 12 minutes later, more calls flooded into 911. The shooter had opened fire again, this time four miles away at Shemengi's Bar in Grill, where police say he killed eight. Officials say multiple law enforcement agencies were dispatched to the scenes. It's unclear what time they arrived. Among the dead at the bowling alley, Bill Young and his 14-year-old son Aaron and Tricia Aslin who worked there and was bowling with her sister when shots rang out. Her mom says she was killed while calling 911. Her sister survived. The world lost a great girl, and I lost a precious daughter. Right away. Leroy Walker's son, Joey, was a manager at Shemengi's. He says the suspect had been there before. All of the people over there, they know him. So he would come to Shemengi's? He would actually come to Shemengi's. He, he, he'd been there off and on. Leroy says he waited 14 hours to hear whether Joey was among the dead. You're all going through a lot of pain right now. It's, it's awful. That moment when I got the call and said, Joey's dead. It, it just it brought me back. It brought me right back to my knees. He says Joey was a married father of two who loved running cornhole tournaments at the bar. As manager of that club, he loved that club enough and the people enough that he would give his life. And that's what he did. When he a state trooper that, told the family uh, Joey died, died a hero. He picked up a, a butcher knife and he tried to go at the gunman to stop him from shooting anybody else. Does that change your pain at all? Oh. Knowing that? It, it made it worse. Yeah, it, it made it worse. Tonight, President Biden ordering flags across the country to be flown at half-staff to honor Joey and the 17 others who lost their lives. My boy, Joey, will be missed by thousands. 
you were close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least 22 people have been shot dead and over 50 people injured at a bowling alley and a bar in Maine. A massive manhunt is underway for Army Reserve Firearms Instructor Robert Card, who was named a person of interest in the mass shooting. He was previously sectioned after reporting that he was hearing voices and had threatened to shoot up his National Guard base in Saco. The shooting suspect was armed with an AR-15 style rifle with a laser optic when he burst into the bowling alley at 7.15 p.m. to begin his rampage. Law enforcement said Card is considered armed and dangerous. If people see him, they should not approach him in any way. had to wake up this morning and explain to my three kids why we don't have school today. We live in Bethel, which is about an hour north of Lewiston. My husband and I also own a community movie theater here. And this is basically like the worst thing that you could ever imagine. I am so sorry, Lewiston. We have some big breaking news uh, from Maine. The suspected gunman, Robert Card, has been found dead in a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Multiple law enforcement sources have told ABC News he's accused of killing 18 people in Lewiston, Maine, in two different locations. It happened two nights ago. There has been a manhunt for him ever since. Yesterday at this time, it looked like law enforcement was really close to him, but they were not. So the manhunt continued until today. Right now, new information that Robert Card is dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, but we don't have any details to where they found him. A lot more coming on this story. As soon as we get more details, we'll bring it to you. Among many other misjudgments, I have opposed efforts to ban deadly weapons of war, like the assault rifle used to carry out this crime. The time has now come for me to take responsibility for this failure which is why I now call on the United States Congress to ban assault rifles like the one used by the sick perpetrator of this mass killing in my hometown of Lewis and Maine. For the good of my community, I will work with any colleague to get this done in the time that I have left in Congress. To the people of Lewiston, my constituents throughout the second district, to the families who lost loved ones, and to those who have been harmed, I ask for forgiveness and support as I seek to put an end to these terrible shootings. In the days to come, I will give everything I have to support this community's recovery. Thank you.